So we're well into season three with Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone at this point, but one thing that I want to touch on today was something that I wanted you all to be aware of if you're not. If you're like me, you like collecting rarer items, and of course, camos are probably the thing that at least I value the most out of the redeemable and earnable items in game. I mean, after all, they are the thing that in a first person shooter, you see the most. Uniforms, calling cards, emblems, all that other stuff is extra, but you see a camo on your weapon probably 99% of the time you play, right? Well, there's one camo and a few other rewards along the way that you should absolutely be aware of. So today we're breaking down the hidden reward systems of Rebirth Island. Drop your thoughts down below, drop a like if you enjoy the video or you find it at all insightful, and do me a favor, hit that subscribe button for more Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and other FPS coverage. I'd love to have in the community. For now, let's take a look at this though. So the biometric scanners were something that was added into season three for Warzone and Rebirth Island's reintroduction here with this. With these, there's both functional reason to have them and hidden things that the game won't advertise to you at any point. For a basic understanding and why you should really interact with them in the first place is they offer up a decent way to boost your gameplay experience once per game. If you go and interact with one of these things, it's just simply you interact with it and it gives you a key card of varying rarity. Things like a bronze key card is a very common one. It'll give you ammo, cash, armor plates, and lethal and tactical equipment from your favorite loadout if you go into the buy station and redeem it through that new segment of the buy station. A silver key card will give you all of what you had in bronze plus a perk package from your favorite loadout. Gold is uncommon. It'll give you everything from the silver level plus a random plate carrier and a random field upgrade. Platinum gives you everything from the gold, a random epic or higher field upgrade, and a random kill streak. A polyatomic key card will give you one classified weapon, which will contain more than five attachments and five free items at a buy station. And finally, the extremely rare and rarest out there is the Orion key card, which will give you two classified weapons. That being, again, higher than five attachments on your builds. You can't actually get that in Gunsmith. And then 10 free items at the buy station. So, how do you increase your odds of that rarity? Obviously, we want better loot, so how do you do it? Well, the only tip given, officially speaking, is using the biometric scanners with a squad member close by increases the odds of receiving those better key cards, which that tracks. This season's kind of all about playing as a team and messaging. I mean, we have bonuses for landing together, so might be something that's assumed here with that. But to find these, there's one in every major section of the map. On screen is a little bit of a tack map that'll show you each of these at a top down level. And you can find those there again at each of those locations. They are static. They are something that will be there. They don't travel to random buildings in each of those sectors. They're always going to be in those same spots. But that's the stuff that is advertised. The things why you should go in and actually experiment with that and interact with it. But what about the hidden system? Well, there's a hidden reward system based off these that acts kind of as a daily login type of challenge set. That if you do this on unique days, not games, but days, you might notice that you complete hidden challenges in the game. These stretch out quite a bit, ranging from just a few days all the way out to almost a month. On the three day mark, if you scan for three unique days, you'll get a need a hand calling card. Seven days, you get an hour double XP token. 12 days, you get an hour double weapon XP token. The 17 day mark, the encrypted animated emblem. 21 days, you get a loading screen. And then 27 days, you get the welcome to the mainframe weapon camo. So while most of these may not be worthwhile or you care too much about, a free universal camo is definitely something worth going for, I think at least. Now, it's definitely worth noting that these do not have to be consecutive unique days. You can do these at whatever pace you'd like. Like if you don't want to do it until the last 27 days of the season or something like that, you don't have to. There's a total of 55 days in this season, a little less now, obviously, because we're a further distance into it, about two weeks at this point. But all you have to do is just do it on 27 different or unique days of the season. You don't have to do this consecutively. Like I think I clocked in like three or four days or something like that. And we're almost two weeks into the season. So I'll be getting it later than everybody else. But again, you can do it at whatever pace you'd like. Now, one thing that is definitely a valid question is, is there an expiration date here for this? Like, is this something only available for season three? Now, this is something that I haven't heard back on just yet. I reached out for comment or confirmation one way or the other. But while there's a total of 55 days on the season, less now, obviously, I'd recommend at least trying to do this here within this time frame where you can end up getting 27 in the season about every other day here and honestly it is just something that you have to log in dive straight down go for one of these in particular and you can back out immediately it just counts as soon as you do you don't have to play the game out or anything like that but while it's not a guarantee i'm hoping this isn't the case the system itself seems to be a foundational part of the gameplay for rebirth with additional bonuses that it gives you in the buy stations but just in case i'd go for these as soon as possible just 
is why we're making this video, bringing attention explicitly to it so that you can end up doing that. But that said, that is the rewards that you end up getting along the way, this 27 day journey in Rebirth Island and the biometric scanners, but it's not the only hidden rewards that we have available through season three. That's where we can break down these other ones. Firstly, another camo is actually available to unlock as well. Part of the high trip resurgence LTM here. All you have to do is win a game of this and you can end up getting a camo credited to your account that is that sort of ground loot weapon camo, what you spawn in with normally. If you take a look at that camo, you can actually apply that to all of your weapons if you end up unlocking it by simply winning a game of that LTM. But we saw another hidden challenge of unlocking that DG56 blueprint. We put up a full guide on that about a week and a half ago at this point here, where we mentioned that this Easter egg, you have to do three parts and it's only completed by doing all three parts. Individually, you can end up getting some loot along the way for each of them, but you have to acquire the ID badge for the Coney control building to turn on the hydro pumps. You have to reset the water level in chemical engineering by matching the water levels with the numbers found throughout the chemical engineering building. And then you have to open open the vest case with the computer percentage puzzles. And if you do all three of those, that's what will then open up the adjacent case where you can end up picking up that DG56 secret blueprint and an advanced UAV. Once you pick up the blueprint, it'll credit it to your account, but unfortunately it's user dependent. So you and your entire squad don't get it, but whoever picks it up out of that case ends up getting it. So if you and your friends want this blueprint, you have to do it multiple times, unfortunately. But even all those isn't the extent of these hidden challenges. We also have additional challenges that will grant you smaller rewards here and there for completing 50 contracts overall, opening 250 crates or chests, performing 25 squad assembles, meaning you all land together, affecting 100 squad mates with squad rage, driving a vehicle in 25 different matches, having three UAV towers active at the same time and if you do end up getting that dg56 secret blueprint it counts towards another overall reward of those last couple if you complete all of those rewards we just mentioned you end up getting a special parachute skin something we saw introduced as an additional customization option in warzone a little while back i think halfway through Modern Warfare 2's life cycle or something like that, though it wasn't the first time we saw customizable parachutes. That was actually in Blackout. But we've only since had a Black Cell parachute, if I'm not mistaken. So this is a nice additional one that could be considered a little rare. Again, just for simply doing almost mundane tasks within Rebirth Island and that are never actually publicized to you, the player. So that's some hidden reward systems within Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone Season 3 with Rebirth Island in particular that Definitely think you should check out, especially those camos. Looking forward to completing my collection with season three after these. But anyways, yeah, that's where we're at. Just want to fill you guys in and get you guys aware of some of these things that may not be there forever. And also, if you didn't know where to look, you might not actually know they exist to begin with. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of these hidden rewards and challenge sets? Like them, dislike them, whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so I don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and other FPS content here on the channel. I'd love to have you. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.